Hi guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe. Um, today I wanted to show you guys my completed pages for June. And um, I know I'm a little late to, um, posting this video, so thank you for your patience. And I'll just get started. If you guys have any questions about any of the books that I'm showing and want a full flip, just leave a comment below. I'm happy to do that for you. And if you're also curious about mediums that I used, um, just leave a comment and I'll let you know what I used. And I did quite a few, so it's going to take me a second. So make yourselves comfortable, get a drink, relax. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. It's 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. And I have been going in order in this book. First one I have here, did this one. And this one I actually just um, pulled markers at random out of a bin. And these are the colors that were given to me, basically a blindfold color choice. And I did five different colors on here. Again, I did the same thing here, and these are Bic Intensity fine liners. That one has like a purple, light purple. This one I actually um, have used glitter Crayola markers, um, just some a variety of different markers, just to see how they would work on this paper. So I just did these three. Obviously, you can tell the bleed through on those. Next one I have here is Misfits, a fairy coloring book. And this is number four. And this is by White Stag. And I have this one. And this one I did on stream when I did the Get to Know You tag. And I have used variety of alcohol markers, some pencils for shading. I have gel pen. This is um, Pentel Sparkle Pop gel pen. And this, uh, this page is titled The Rainy Day Fairy. And I like how the red worked out. It complemented all the blue. And on the bottom, this puddle is made uh, with um, metallic gelatos. Next one I have here, um, this is Coloring Kawaii Mandala Magic. Um, you can get this book on Etsy. I believe it's now titled, titled Yippee Kaye Kawaii or something. It's titled differently, but if you do search this, it will come up, or you can even search by Danny Banani, um, The Fun Usual Suspects. And I did this one, the movie theater one with the movie theater chairs and the popcorn. And these are really fun because they have the cute little kawaii faces and kawaii means cute. Next one I have is Disney. Um, this is Disney Princess's Color, I know I'm gonna say this, Color Lourage Magiques Mysteries. This is a French coloring book and I did two. I did this one with Merida. I'm still trying to figure out the best mediums to use on this. I have used Crayola Super Tips. I didn't like how many lines were in the horse, so I tried to go over with my Prismas. And can you see all these lines that it created? I just, yeah. It is what it is, so I just left it. And then this one I did as well using pencils but I used Gamasol to blend it out or odorous odorless mineral spirits and I think this page has way too much brown I will honestly tell you guys um, but it's not a choice of what I did this is just how this book is made and so yeah I did do um, gel pen glitter gel pen on the dresses there and that was the color it gel pens. And 
Next, I have another Disney one. Um, this one is different than that one that I just showed you. This is the Les Grand Classiques, and this is by Hatchet Heroes. And I did this one of Ariel. And what I have done is I actually followed um, Danny Button's advice and went and did my black outlining with my Tombow dual brush pen. And then after I was done, I actually colored this with um, gel crayons by King's Art. And I actually smoothed them out with my finger and then I let it dry after it was all done. That way, as you can see right here, there was no transfer. It's it's good. I mean, it blended really well and I like how it turned out. And it doesn't bleed through the other side. It's tricky to do these books because they are double-sided images and you don't really want to sacrifice Disney pages if you love Disney. Let me grab some more. All right, so we have um, Sloth Coloring Book, and this one's by Jade Summer, who we all know. And I did this one. This one, I was just kind of picking colors at random one day. I didn't really think about it. I just, oh, that looks good, that looks good. And I have some gel pen too. So I started off with the blue when I was doing the background and my um, Cali Art marker actually ran out of ink. And so as you can see right here, I was starting to freak out because I didn't have anything. So I took the green that was the same actual, I guess, tone as this blue and I just finished it off with the green. And I think it's all right. I think it turned out okay. And I did do this one for Lavelia's coloring hashtag color your hoard 2020 and this is a really cute book if you guys have never seen it it has pictures of sloths in it if you guys like sloths it's fun and it's not incredibly detailed so if you have a visual impairment you might enjoy this book Next one, um, I got this book for my birthday from a friend and I wanted to color in it. And so I decided I would pull it out. This is Gorgeous Fairies by Rachel Mintz. And this is a grayscale coloring book for those that like grayscale. And I did this fairy. And I made her blonde with green, kind of like emerald green dress and light blue background and this is a fine a fine uh, gel pen it's like a really sh tiny tiny tip they look like this so yeah I think it turned out all right I don't know what I would change I think it overall it looks pretty good but all of the images in this book are gorgeous if you guys like grayscale but they can be a little intimidating. Next one I have is um, 50 Summertime Mandalas by Camellia Angel Kova. And this one, um, I am part of a group that's kind of like a pay it forward group. And someone had given this to me for my birthday. And I colored this one with the crab crabs and the seashells and I tried to stick to a limited color palette because I wanted it to all like coincide with each other and I've used gel pen and markers and pencil on this and I think it turned out all right yeah and that was 50 summertime mandalas Next one I have is another Jade Summer book. This is Intricate Mandala's coloring book. And this one, I did the first one. And this one was done, I'm trying to think. 
I think it, I believe I did this one in, with super doodle glitter gel pens. And I just picked some colors that jumped out to me, nothing too special, and just went for it. It did take me a while because this is an intricate mandala book, but if you can see the, the shine, and they're all pretty intricate, but it's kind of fun to do this when you're super stressed out. Next one I have um, is another Jade Summer. This is a grayscale coloring book, Unicorns. This isn't, this isn't as detailed as the fairy one I showed you. If you guys have aren't unfamiliar with Jade Summer's um, grayscale, I did this one with the girl with the baby unicorn. Again, trying to keep to that color palette and this actually was really fun and I would I actually asked my daughter what color should her hair be what color should her dress be just for fun so and it's basically alcohol markers and gel pen let me get some more for you guys Okay, so this next one is a grayscale one as well, but um, this is more of a simplified grayscale. So if you are interested in learning how to color grayscale, I would suggest books like this. This one is by Black River Art. It's called Color Some Cuties. I did this bunny, and these are all these are done in pencil. And I have blended them out with odorless mineral spirits or gamosol. It's the same st stuff. And then I also did this fox. And these, like, take no time to do. You just put some color down and within a half an hour you, you're finished. So, yeah. Next one I have here is Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. And you guys have probably seen this book before. Um, this book, I wanted to try things differently than just traditional pencil or traditional um, approaches or like ink tents and things like that. So I've been experimenting with budget friendly mediums in this book. So I have done the first page here and this is just with some um, cheap markers that I did tip by tip to create that gradient right there there is some sparkle gel pen nothing too fancy or flashy and if you see on this side there wasn't any there's a little bit of shadowing but it's not bad and this one I posted to my Instagram. This one is done with Crayola markers, just the regular Crayola markers. And even these leaves that have the gradient, if you take your Crayola markers and do tip by tip, just like you would with Chameleon markers or any of those expensive brands, you can get the gradient effect with cheap budget friendly markers. And how I did the birds is I went ahead and colored the whole thing with a budget-friendly marker, which was the Crayola marker, like the kit, ones you give to your kids. And then I went in with my Jelly Roll um, Moonlight, the yellow one, went in there, put some sparkles in there too, and then I shaded it with just a cheap budget-friendly blue pencil. And... As you can see on this other side, there's no bleed through, and I got this done fairly quickly, and I used markers. And I know a lot of you guys are marker people and would love to have these books, but are kind of bummed because you're afraid to bleed through. So don't be afraid to try your cheap Crayola markers in this book, because this paper is very good paper, and it responds really well to them.
The next one I have here is in the new Kirby Roseanne's World Within Worlds book. And this one I actually did for Color Your Horde because this is the first one I've done in this book. Okay, so <laughs> I, I wanted to color one really bad in this, so I colored this um, globe first. And then I just felt like it just wasn't enough on the page. And then I was like messing around with the background with ink tents and all sorts of different things. And it just looked 10 times worse. And so I took my gelatos. I took my like magenta gelato. And then I have like a dark brown coffee colored gelato. Went around that, kind of blended it all together. And I still was like, okay, I still don't know if I like it added washi tape to the sides and this is the outcome. I think it works out all right because this pink matches the pink in the tree and I did all the elements inside with gold um, Pentel Sparkle Pop so it matches the gold on the side. And as you can see there is no bleed through. There's a little bit of yellowing right here but I can easily cover that up. So in my Facebook group, which is called Once Upon a Color, this is the book we did last month for our um, color along book. And um, this is Gnome Life by Coloring Book Cafe. And this is a really cute book. I didn't get as many done as I would have liked to, but that is how life goes sometimes. Here I've done this gnome girl. I've used markers. I really like how the inside of my apples turned out here. And the white is, I, I colored it with blue marker first. And then I took my white jelly roll and went over every black line in her hat and her apron to create that effect right there. This was the first one I did. And so I originally colored these guys and I thought it would be fun to give them these like rainbow hats, kind of like um, Rastafari type of look or something. And they didn't have these strings. They were just like floating and it didn't make sense to me that they were just like floating and nothing. And so I created these strings like they were actual ornaments on a tree. And I think it turned out cute. And this is washi tape on the border. And this final one is a swimming one. <laughs> They're all in a pond swimming. Obviously, we've got some different gnomes, different colors. And I try to put little white highlights on them so it makes them look like they're porcelain. And the ducks right here have Pentel Sparkle Pop gel pen on them. And I, I was guessing that these were some kind of water lily, but I'm not really sure. So I just went for it. That was fun. The next ones I have are in Jasmine Beckett Halloween coloring book. And um, I did some Halloween pages last month because we had... Um, a June spooktacular thing in my coloring group going on and so I tried to do some Halloween pages and I was doing buddy colors with my fellow admins of that group in this book so I'll show you the pages that I completed I completed this one the girl with the golden dragon um, I'm sure you guys have seen this with other people's reminiscences and stuff. And this is alcohol marker base, and then I've added pencil on top. I tried to keep to the color scheme. That's why I've done the ground, kind of that red color to match her hair. Um, these wings that look like leaves, I did um, all Prismacolor pencils. These are in gel pen, the butterflies. There's a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you can see it. But um, as you can see, 
there was marker base. I don't mind that you can still see the words here and it's covering it because I do think it saves me a lot of time when I can marker base my pictures and I think it turned out really nice. The next one here, I actually did this one before I did that other one, was the cupcake one. Sorry, I'm bumping my tripod here. And there's a little spider here on the corner. And I did pink cupcakes, and her wings look like dragon wings. I did them green. And purple hair, obviously. And there is Sparkle Pop on the candy corns. This next one I have here is the 50 Spring Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. And if you guys have never seen any of her books, you should check them out. They're really affordable and they're super adorable. I did this one with the kitties in the rain boots. And um, I colored this with Crayola, Crayola, or Crayola pencils. And the background is Pebbles Chalk. And the black is alcohol marker because I wanted it to be a strong alcohol or a strong black color. And I noticed when I colored over here, I couldn't see the lines. So I outlined those lines right there in white. So it would be a more defined edge to the kittens. And I think it turned out really cute. And this was a buddy color as well. And I did this with Ashley. And she is another admin in my um, Facebook group. Next one I have here is American Beauties coloring book and this is by Carol Schmidt and this one was gifted to me last month by a subscriber and if any of you guys ever give me something off of my Amazon wish list and it is a book I will try to color something from that book within that month for you guys as a personal thank you so um I did this one I really like this one because it has a horse. She kind of reminds me of I Love Lucy because I did red hair, but I think it turned out cute. And she's got a sugar cube. She's feeding the horse. And I used markers and gel pen and pencil for shading. And thanks again to Judy for sending this to me. Next one I have here is World of Mice Stained Glass Coloring Book. And this one I am trying to finish before the year is over. I probably will finish it faster than that because it's so simple. But it is a really fun coloring book. If you guys have never seen this book, they are by Sun Life Drawing. I did this one with the fruit. And how this book works is here's all the colors and the numbers, and it's basically a color by number. And this one I did with, I think, alcohol markers. No, so it's kind of roughly, I'm thinking Crayola Super Tips. This one I have used glitter gel pen on the mice. But everything else is done with Cali Art markers. I did this one with Cali Art markers. And I actually messed up on the browns in her hair. They were supposed to be dark and then light. But it is what it is and it's alright. And then I did this pumpkin one to add to my spooktacular thing for June that we were doing in our Facebook group. And that was World of Mice. Next one, um, I actually did this one on stream. 
I was testing out some markers and I wanted to show you guys how they laid down in a coloring book. This is Broken Mandala, Broken Mandala's Adult Coloring Book by Tabitha Barnett. Her books are very nice, kind of a little bit simplistic, but that's perfect for when you're stressed out too, or if you have um, problems with your hands or visual impairments. And here I've just done a basic mandala, and I love how it's broken up in these waves. This one. And yes, there was bleed through, so I did put cardstock on the back. And if you're curious about me coloring this one, if you look back in my videos, it was on the video that I did the review of the markers. I believe it was like R-U-I-X, something like that. It started with an R. I can't remember the exact title, guys. Sorry about that. Next one um, was a buddy color with um, a friend in my Facebook group. And this was Animal Quest Baby Color by Number Animals, I guess you could say, um, by Sunlash Drawing. And we did this one. It is either a baby alligator or a baby crocodile. But I'm thinking baby alligator. And I used, I believe, Bic Intensity Fine Liners and Shuttle Art Fine Liners. And this actually went pretty quick for me because um, I started learning not to go by the numbers because <laughs> that seems to take forever because you're trying to search for the numbers. I pulled all the colors beforehand and I actually just started in a corner and worked my way out and it worked out faster than doing it by each individual number. All right, the next one I did um, was a buddy color with the lovely Danny Buttons here on YouTube. This is a fairy tale princess storybook darlings coloring book by Hannah Lynn. And we did this page, the little Miss Muffet. And she has marker base, pencil shading. Right here on her bowl, I have put stickles and glossy accents to make it look kind of like a glass bowl and a glass spoon. And I did my spider purple because I wanted it to pop off the page. And since her dress was pink, I made the house pink in the background. And I was, I ran out of blue marker. So I have an orange sky instead of a light blue sky. And I think it turned out really nice. Next one I have here is in the Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn. And I just did one. I did this vampire. And I made her have galaxy hair just for fun. This black part right here is Jelly Roll Glaze. And so that means it will shine. You can see that. Pops off the page. And I was thinking this at first I thought it was blood, but I think it's supposed to be like a ratty curtain. And then I actually added more cracks to the wall. They had initially had this one, but I added more on this side. Yeah. And this was um, for uh, hashtag color your horde plus that spooktacular June thing that we were doing. All right, last book, guys. Um, this is the Grayscale 2-in-1 Chibi Girls. I love Chibi, Chibi anything. I think they're great. And this is by Jade Summer, if you guys don't already know. I know many, many people have shown this book. And I did this one, obviously, with a vampire. And I did him, like, kind of a gray skin because I didn't want to leave him uncolored. 
So I did the lightest gray I had, and then obviously I did her. And I, after I colored them and everything, I kind of drew a blank on what I should do for the background. So I went this lighter yellow color scheme because I didn't want the room to look too dark since it was a night scene. And then last but not least, the motorcycle chick. Um, this one, I really just wanted to color this motorcycle yellow. <laughs> and I decided to give her purple hair and went for it. Then after I was all done and really happy about how she turned out and the motorcycle turned out, I didn't want to drown her with a colorful background. I wanted it kind of look like those old school picture frames that have the black and white background and just the pop of color in the middle. So this is how I left it and I like it that way. So if you ever want to color a picture and you don't want to do a background and it's similar like this, like a grayscale, um, you don't have to. So if it's your coloring book, you can do what you want to do. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome and please like and subscribe if you like my videos and if you hit the notification bell, you'll get an alert if I post new videos. Um, for my upcoming videos, I would like to do a highlighter challenge coming up using only highlighters in an adult, in an adult coloring book. I also want to do um, a thing on gel crayons, how to use gel crayons in adult coloring books, as well as I need to get some more stuff together to show you guys how to use um, gelatos inside your adult coloring books. These are things I haven't seen other color tubers really do very much, and I want to be able to show you guys some different things that maybe you have not seen before. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas that you would like to see, go ahead and let me know. And if any of you guys have a color tube channel and would love to do a buddy color with me, just send me a message on Instagram. I would love to buddy color with you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, guys.